So we're going to look at putting together a character package for distribution and bringing all the pieces together in DAS Studio. I'm not going to show you how to do the actual modeling of a morph in ZBrush or Hexagon or Moto, whatever you're using. I'm not going to show you how to paint textures in ZBrush or Deep Paint or whatever you use to paint your textures in. Um, and I'm not going to show you how to set the specific surface settings. Uh, for the materials. I will show you how to save materials and how to work with them and do some neat tricks with them but I'm not going to show you how to actually set them up because that would be beyond the scope of this tutorial. And so first things in the studio if you haven't already done it or if you did something other when you signed up or set up, you know, when you set up Death Studio, check your authorship information it's under your preferences under edit there if you were watching and check it make sure that's your PA name and then your PA store or your vendor name, your 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 store email address. Um, that information gets written out to every file that you save, and it's visible. The user facing files is visible to to anybody using your your files. So you want to make sure that that's good, valid, public consumption information. First thing you do whenever you start a new project is to create a new folder. That way you're always working in a nice clean folder and everything's separate and organized. Um, this one here, because I'm making a character tutorial, it's, it's called Characters. Inside that I have a content folder. Um, that would be equivalent to my library a lot of people have, or whatever you wanted to name it. When you name it Content, uh, Studio reads the folder above it for the name over here in the library. So that's that folder mapped in. I mapped in the Content folder and it says Characters. That way I can have a lot of content folders in different, different folders. I could have a Poses. A uh, content folder. I could have a, a whatever the project name I'm working on, and then inside that have a content folder. And over here it would show up as the other folder's name. It makes it easy to keep track of where everything is in that content folder. I've got I've got this building folder which is just temporary. Uh, it's got some presets in there, so I don't have to stop and set up materials while I'm doing the tutorial. Because I'm doing a character, I went and started the folder structure for people in Genesis 3 male characters, and then my character name is going to be Bob. And that's as far as I went on that. We'll do the rest when I get there. Runtime, I already have the textures over here because I'm not showing you how to make textures. And of course, runtime textures, PA name, product name. And full disclosure, these aren't my textures. I borrowed them from another character for the purposes of making this video. In your case, these would be your textures that you made yourself. And I also have back here next to the content folder, I have a mesh folder, and that's just containing the OBJs, um, all the model that I've already done because I'm not showing how to do the modeling either. So I've got the content folder all set up and mapped into Studio, and again, yeah, there's nothing interesting there except for those. But we're going to kind of load in a blank Genesis 3 Mel because that's the character I'm making it for. And you can see there that's that's not the default Genesis email that comes with the starter essentials because that one is horrible for creating content on. Um, what I did is I loaded that one in, went to the skin, lips, and nails, set it to a default color. I think I applied um, the default shader to most of the, most of the surfaces, not all of them obviously, but most of the surfaces I put the default shader on. Ripped off all the texture maps, gave it a nice solid color. I left the eyes and the inner mouth and teeth and all that so I could see them um, in case they poke through or anything like that. But the skin itself, I, I went with a nice plain solid color so I can actually see the mesh as I'm as I'm working with it instead of giving textures making things look different than they should. I also went and I took off the mouth realism HD morph and the navel morph and then resaved out a character preset and then I added that to my toolbar. And the reason you want to use a blank fresh one like this is because if you're not you're eventually eventually inevitably going to forget to turn off the HD or the, the mouth realism HD or the navel morph and you're going to wind up baking those into your morph and it's going to mess up the teeth. Um, so if you're doing anything for, for a character, Genesis 3 male or female, you really want to save your own character preset and work from that to avoid messing up the teeth. 